What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see from the title that today I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys, guys that what I actually take when I am traveling. This is what my bag actually looks like. This one right here is your Sonia Kashuk bag that is purchased at Target, you guys. She always comes out with fun prints of choices for you. You can also purchase any of them that looks like this at CVS and Walgreens. The reason why I prefer this, this is like you can hold a whole bunch of products in it and it is very convenient and travel friendly and that is why I choose this particular packaging or bag and not only that I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys but I also wanted to go ahead and go over with this one last time to make sure that I am not forgetting anything and that is what we're here to do so first thing I want to do is just go ahead and open one side so on this side of the bag you actually get two pouches that look something like this but I actually changed that out to something like this which is a little bit more of a ziploc bag and this is where i carry all of my products that i want to go ahead and put in you know for the security check because this is a bigger pouch i can have a lot more products in it and then it just fits perfect in here so this one right here is actually my makeup for the plane itself where the plane lands and i decided to get ready i would just have stuff handy and it's a velcro on the back so you can easily stick that on top of it and there ready to go and over here you have your uh, typical uh, pocket without a zipper where I just have samples of some stuff I have my favorite Smashbox photo finish uh, primer then I also have a Sephora face cream which is a must you guys stick those in here even though I know I packed enough so this right here I'm gonna go through first so so in this pouch which is from Urban Decay you guys I have my setting spray and I decided to take travel friendly stuff you guys this one right here is NYX Cosmetics Dewy Finish however I am still taking a sample size Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray so if I have a special event to go to that is when I will definitely soak myself in this one Purity Cleanser which is by Philosophy for everyday moisturizer I wanted something that has pump to it for sanitizing reasons and easier application and this is something that I can even use on my kids as well so I am taking uh, this is Aveeno daily moisturizer which also have your SPF 15 which is a must whenever you are traveling this right here is by far my favorite foundation to take with me whenever I'm traveling because of the packaging it not only that it is very convenient lightweight the dispenser is really good so here is L'Oreal Infallible and the shade I have here is 106 Sun Beige. This is also a 24 hour so full coverage foundation so it will definitely not fail me in any type of weather I am wearing this. But not least I have my photo finish Smashbox Water Primer to prime my face. And that is what I have so far in this little bag. The second pouch that I have in here carries all sorts of stuff that I want to use on plane. So this one right here is my Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I really love this packaging, especially for travel reasons. And it is very lightweight, so it's not going to make my luggage very heavy. I like that. Right here is the NYX Cosmetics Nude Matte Eyeshadow. This one in shade Dance the Tide. Just so I can apply this into my crease and mascara and on my way. Planner, I decided to go with something new. This one right here is Ulta Cosmetics. Cosmetics lip liner and the shade I have here is bare. I also have my elf cosmetics wax pencils to do my brows I have a makeup forever professional lab shine diamond collection lip gloss that has a little bit of shimmer to it And it is a very natural color and the shade I have here is d16 I have an eyebrow brush which is from elf cosmetics to do my brows with urban decay 24 7 glide on eye pencil by urban decay then I have a Tarte the Sculptor uh, for the contour. I have a Chanel sample foundation in a jar. One, this is one of the best way to actually take foundation on the go, you guys, especially whenever you're planning on getting ready on the plane. Have a sample size available. I have some extra brushes. This one right here is by Japanesque, and this one right here actually comes with, uh, I believe, Smashbox contour palette. This one right here is the VIB Rouge Sephora Special Edition Collection uh, brush that I got from them. And I prefer to take smaller brushes, especially when I'm on the go. I also have a sample size Makeup Forever High Definition Foundation here as well. This is Y415, my shade. I have an eye blending. 
blending brush. This is a random brush. Then I have a concealer brush, a bare mineral. I love the size of this. And this one right here is a small sample size mascara from Clinique. A lot of the items that I love to take on whenever I'm traveling, travel friendly and also very smaller in size. This one right here is Make Me Brow Gel by Essence Cosmetics. BH Cosmetics Flawless Brow Trio, which I really, really love. You guys, I've already hit the pan on it. The reason why I picked this one because not only that I have a gel to work with, but I also have powders in here as well. If this right here is a Stella Cosmetics lip balm, which is called Sophie and it actually has a color to it which I love so so much because not only is the lip balm but it gives you that a little bit of color so if you don't want to wear too much of a color then this would be a way to go and it also has a mirror you guys Yep. This one right here is Becca Cosmetics Highlight in Opal. This is a very good small uh, sample size. Most of the items that I am showing you guys, I purchased them using my rewards at Sephora's website, which I love to carry with me whenever I'm traveling. This one right here is Bare Minerals Matte Foundation in Medium Tan that I use as a bronzer. I have this one right here, Bare Minerals, another foundation in shade Light. That is if I want to like have a very lightweight formula something that is very healthy for skin at the same time and this right here is the mini beauty blender just to blend out my concealer which i don't prefer on daily use but whenever you're on the go you definitely want to have something very simple like i said this is what that is then I have a concealer that is not too light. Most of the time I use creamy beige, but this one right here is in pure beige, which is a tad bit darker, my skin tone color. So it's not gonna give me that bam highlight, but it's gonna definitely give me coverage. It's gonna give me a little bit of color, a little bit of highlight, so just perfect. Have this Tarte Cosmetics Travel Kabuki brush. Another product I have, which is sample size that I got it again at Sephora, 100 rewards. This one right here is Laura Mercier Translucent Powder to set my under eye concealer. I have a Josie Moran Whip Argon Face Butter, you guys. I absolutely love using this and I purchased 400 rewards at Sephora. I love, love, love this stuff. On the plane, you actually tend to get very dry skin. So definitely opt in for something that is super moisturizing. I just threw in an extra brush by Too Faced, so that's in there. And last but not least, I have a Makeup Forever Professional uh, Eye Pencil in black. Then I have a Makeup Forever, uh, this is their Hydrant Primer. Like I said, you your skin will really get dry on plain, so you want to make sure you take most of the hydrating stuff. And And that's what that is. This is just gonna go in my purse. All right, you guys, let's move on to the second side of the uh, compartment. And I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. And this is what that looks like. Oh, I forgot to mention. I also like to pack a bubble wrap on both sides of my makeup bag just so I can actually protect my makeup from any damage. And that is a very good idea I can give you from any time I am receiving a package. I just save the bubble wrap um, that is smaller in size. And I have same thing over here. This is probably a Jeffree Star bubble wrap right over here. This side, this is what that looks like, you guys. You have a zipper compartment over here. Then on this side, you have your brush compartment, which I'll go over in just a little bit. And then you have have a zipper that goes right there and then a zipper that goes right over here go and go over the zipper that is over here first because that actually has least amount of product so the first thing I have here is actually uh, my lashes these are my double up lashes by uh, Ardell I have a makeup remover cleansing towelette by Neutrogena which is my by far the most favorite and used then I also have some extra pair of lashes, which is Ardell Demi Wispies with not only the duo glue, also with some tweezers. That, that is why I picked this one. Whenever I'm traveling, I really want to use something that is very natural, something not, that is not too glam and easy to wear because again, it is a vacation for a reason and you definitely want to be able to enjoy. I may not necessarily use these, but I always want to have them handy. That is if I do opt in for wearing them. 
I also have some extra brushes that I actually did not fit into the brush compartment. So I have this one right here by BH Cosmetics Brush. Then I have a duo ended Smashbox brush. I do like to travel with duo ended brush. I feel like they actually come in more handy uh, in whenever you're traveling than on daily use because you don't need to store them like this. You can actually have them in your bag lay flat. The last thing I have in this is actually some extra paper towel to wipe any brush or anything like that. And also I lay that towards the outside so that also protects my makeup. Zipper right over here. I just have an extra Ziploc bag if I need to put anything. And that is all I store in there. Whenever I'm traveling, you guys, I always want to make sure that I travel with brushes that are actually very affordable, not my expensive brushing, just because I want to uh, make sure that if I damage them or if I lose them, if they get stolen or anything like that, I actually afford easily and replace them. Some of the brushes that I don't use on daily basis are the smaller sample size brushes that you get free sometimes. This one I use by Sigma Beauty Angled Brush. So I like to take them because of their size. I feel like they're very easily to fit in there. Then I have an eyeliner brush from them as well. Um, this one is a Real Technique brush for setting under eyes. Then I have a blush brush. This is a stippling brush from Coastal Scents. I have a foundation brush that I'm taking by BH Cosmetics, an angled brush for contour. And then I have a foundation brush by Tarte Cosmetics. I have another brush by Real Technique. Then I have a Bare Minerals uh, fluffy brush. I have a Sonia Castro fluffy brush. I have a bronzer brush by Maybelline and my beloved crown brushes blending brush. Then I have a pencil brush and another highlighting brush by BH Cosmetics. I have another dual ended brush. Don't ask me the brand from this. This is like one of those random brushes you find at TJ Maxx. Then I have a spoolie brush. You just never know when you mess up. Then I have a flat definer brush which is a BH Cosmetics. I have a dual ended pencil in black and nude by NYC colors. I have a flat shading brush synthetic by Sigma Beauty and I have a wet n wild flat. This is a concealer brush. I love carving my brows with this. I have a smaller Estee Lauder brush and I also have a uh, wet n wild angled brush to do my brows with or even a liner. So these are the brushes that I actually will be taking with me and then I just like to store them in here like so. And you have a flap that is easy to wipe down in case it gets dirty. This right here is the last compartment, you guys, that I'm going to go over. I do have some of the stuff over here that I also want to put in here. Um, just in case if I want to switch things out, I want to make sure that I have them handy. I forgot to pack a carter and then I bought this elf corrector. If you guys remember me talking about it, I did try it out and I do like it. So I think it's a travel-friendly solution. And I think I want to switch out the contour palette from the one that I'm taking in here. Here is Smashbox, which is right over here, to Palladio, not only because I have more choices. I really love this. I really like this. So let's go ahead and get right into it. The first thing I have in here is, again, another moisturizer. This is a travel container that I got at Target. I have my beloved Olek moisturizer in here. I have a beauty blender that I like to keep in something like this. This right here is the original Smashbox Contour Kit that I thought was small enough to take with me. But now that I have this one right over here, which I think is a better option only because it offers me a wide variety of shade range and I feel like this would be something that I'm going to be more interested in. So I'm going to go and switch this one out. This one right here is L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 16 Hour Powder Foundation. The only reason why I'm picking this one because not only is it a full coverage, but it also lasts you long enough the shade I have here is natural beige as you guys can see I've already hit the pan on this I have my NYX cosmetics this is the ombre blush you guys the shade I have here is strictly chic and this is what that looks like main reason not only that it has a mirror to it um, you have your peach stain but then you can definitely tone it down and you can actually control the color what kind of pigmentation you're looking for another powder I have here this is my actually very favorite this is NYX Cosmetics stay matte but not flat in warm beige is the color the reason why I like this one because it gives you that very natural sheen and it's the perfect amount of yellowness that my skin actually has and it looks very very natural on my skin and that is why I like this and it the 
coverage is insane on this so I really love this I have another bubble wrap in here protecting all my palettes you guys so I already got my peach blush happening right over here I decided to take something pink as well and this one right here is by Smashbox the shade I have here is passion I have two random pencils this one right here is waterproof by Sephora and then this one is Smashbox black pencil which I feel like I already have a black pencil in the other bag that I shared with you guys the first one so I'm gonna go ahead and take this out I think I actually will be needing a waterproof pencil either so I'm gonna go ahead and take this one out as well I'm going to go ahead and go with this in just a minute the palette I have in here that I'm taking with me is the Lorac Pro palette mainly because yeah it is definitely travel friendly because of its size it is very skinny cardboard material it is very lightweight and everything and this is what that looks like you guys not only that you have your mattes in there but then you have your metallic shades in here as well and it is a very pigmented palette this right here is the Tardius Pro palette, you guys, that I'm taking mainly because of the size of the mirror. It is gigantic. You can actually see your full face into it. Last time, whenever I, I was visiting India, I actually thought this is something that I lacked, that I didn't have in my collection, and I really miss seeing the full face because in the end, you want to make sure everything is flawless and everything, and for that, you have to have a full mirror. And that's why I am picking this palette right here. It has a little bit more weight than my usual palettes that I like to take, but then I can't help it because of the mirror so this right here has all sorts of nude colors but then you have your metallics in here but if I need any other metallic then I definitely have the Laura Pro palette to go with that let's go ahead and go over this kit real quick this is the second bag that actually is from the other side of the compartment that I have smaller stuff in it to put right on top of the palette just so the palette doesn't move and stay put and it also prevent it from damaging and let's go over this the first item I have here is my NYX cosmetics eyeshadow base you guys know that I really cannot live without it and this is in skin tone then I have my L'Oreal Infallible. This is the eyeliner in black. I make sure that I have a gel liner to work with. I have a sample size, I'm still a huge extreme lash mascara, which I love so, so much. Um, this is my second favorite mascara, you guys, besides the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Always, always, always pack a sharpener. You never know when you need it. Then I have a sample size Do You Drops Highlighter by Marc Jacobs. I have a Maybelline Long Lasting Waterproof Gel Pencil in Sleek Onyx. Have a lip liner. This one right here is by Prestige Cosmetics in Cameo, which is a very natural pink kind of color. I have a bright red, this is by Catrice lip liner, and the shade I have here is Red Cadillac. The lip liner I am taking along with me is NYX Cosmetics. This one is in brown. I have another Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, which is a pore minimizing primer. You can also purchase this for about 12 something dollars at Sephora or Ulta in travel section. For the lipsticks, you guys, you just never know what you're feeling like that day. So I have a few options to go with me, and I prefer to have something that is going to stay in place a while as well. So I have here the Stella Cosmetics in Becca, which is a very bright pink kind of color. Then I have a red shade, which is Fury. And I have another red shade, which is Rubino, which is a lot more richer than Fury. I have a very natural shade. The sticker kind of came off. I believe it's Lolita. I have another shade, which is still a cosmetics patina, which is a very natural pink color. And I have another natural brown pink color in nude. This one is called Fresco by Stella Cosmetics. This is a very good liner by Lord & Berry, you guys. And this one is a nude. And I really love this, as you guys can tell by the size of it. Another lip liner I'm taking with me is by Ulta Cosmetics. And this one right here is in shade Flash. That looks like, and it is super pigmented. I just want to make sure I have enough primer, I guess. I have another Photo Finish Smashbox Sample Size Primer here. I have another Make Up Forever Lip Gloss Sample Size, which I think I can live without, so I'm going to take this out. 
I have a LA Girl concealer. This one right here is in creamy beige. This is the one I like to use for highlight. For contour, I have one in espresso from LA Girl as well. I have my very favorite mascara. This is by Too Faced. And then I have Becca Cosmetics Backlight Priming Filter. This one right here is Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. This is the only liquid liner I am taking with me. Another eyebrow gel that I'm taking with me is by NYX Cosmetics. The shade I have here is in black. For that fun event look, I want to make sure that I am all ready for. I have my NYX Cosmetics Glitter Liners. This one right here is in just gold and then I have a silver one and they're very travel friendly and also very affordable so if you do misplace them, you don't have nothing to worry about. Another thing, like I told you guys, I want to stick in there is my Elf Cosmetics Corrector. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my eyelash color in here as well. And it looks jammed, but trust me, everything works out just fine in the end. And easy to close and everything. And this is how I like to pack this. And then I would just take my bubble wrap, which is actually uh, two thin layers of bubble wrap, and just put that in there in the middle of this pouch and just close that up. You also want to make sure that you definitely add a hand sanitizer in there as well, which I'll probably just tie around it. And that is pretty much what my uh, travel kit includes, you guys. Hopefully you guys like it. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. Um, I seriously am so busy packing. I really wanted to go ahead and let you guys see what I, I am taking with me. And that is why I decided to do this video for you guys on a very short notice. That I'm also on Instagram and definitely follow me there. That is where I will be probably posting throughout my vacation. So definitely give me a follow there, you guys. Free name, Makeup Dilsey and I love you guys and I'll definitely see you next time. Bye bye.